This is Flash Somebody at the Dropping a Coil Show <laughs> on the RealLibertyMedia.com. And I'm here with Larry Woods and Rob Works. I think we're live. Don't know for sure. I haven't got a thing from Grim on the main feed yet. But thanks, Grim, for letting us play here. And uh, we've got Larry. Larry's coming up here. I'll post the... Well, he was real excited about this idea of post, posting stuff in Wire about it. So I thought Larry would want to just jump right in and start yakking. Well, Thanks, yeah. Grimner. Take it away, Uncle Larry. Yeah, I was talking about the brain today. What <laughs> little there is left of it after all the COVID-19 shut down. <laughs> um, yeah. Brain waves are really, really cool. They're the... We are functional even in delta brain waves. Uh, that's when you're asleep or uh, sleeping adults or adults with brain tumors uh, are in the, the delta range. And that's the lowest range of frequency that our brain operates at. And that's between one and three hertz. So what you need most is rest. And that's a three. So that's kind of neat. And then uh, they've been, uh, there's like four different groups of brain waves, alpha, beta, delta, and theta. Alpha is 8 through 12 hertz. Beta is when you're totally alert and active. That's above 13 cycles. Uh, hertz and cycles and frequency is all the same thing. It's the number of pulses per second. So three pulses per second for, for a sleeping brain, that just tells you that whether you're awake or asleep, something is always going on in your head. So don't let them little voices fool you. They're really there. Yeah, the brain comes on while you're still in the womb, and it doesn't shut off till the day you die. That's it. Uh, delta brain waves are mainly in infants and sleeping adults. Theta brain waves are mainly in children the ages two to five. Uh, that's the developing synapsis connection brain waves. Alpha waves occur in adults who have their eyes closed or who are relaxed. And beta waves occur mainly in adults who are awake and active. So alert and focused. And what happens when you sit down in front of a TV? You go to zero. <laughs> yeah, TV. I don't think it, is, it drops you into delta wave. Yeah, yeah. You go. It drops into, you. It drops you into delta and beta uh, reception wave. Yeah, it makes you. It makes warning. You, yeah, it makes you receptive. Of whatever. Be, whatever's yeah. being. Yeah pipe through that stream. Yeah, that's the sleep warning. <laughs> Grin there. I used to have brain waves, now I just have ripples. <laughs> <laughs> really? Now I just have wrinkles. <laughs> ripples. Uh that's funny, Grim. Yeah, and and the frequency is just a fluctuation of voltage between parts of the brain. Uh huh. Uh, and let's Let's talk about that for a minute. We're a machine. Uh, let's say let's say we're an automobile. If you're running regular gasoline in an automobile or unleaded, whatever they call it these days, the normal gas, and you put a tablespoon of acetone in it, the mm -hmm. acetone in acetone increases the volatility of the of the gas, yeah, so it there. burns hotter. And it gives you much better performance. It increases the octane. It gives you better performance in your car. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what vitamins and minerals do for us. They give us that extra boost that we need to function properly. If you don't have the right vitamins and minerals, you're not firing on all your cylinders. So it's what we put in us is as our fuel is what dictates how healthy we are. 
That's right. You, you, you can't run an automobile on diesel gas. And not very well. Yeah, it, it was not supposed to. So it won't run very long. Yeah. So you you gotta you've gotta consider what you're putting in and why are you fat? Why are you always tired? Why are you always sleepy? Why are you always hurt? Because you don't have the proper intake. Yeah. Just think about that a little bit. Do a little research. Oh God, no! No, well, you want me to read? <laughs> well, okay, okay. Go to YouTube and watch a video. Oh, oh, oh okay, cool. Oh, yeah. right. I can do that. Yeah, go to YouTube, watch a video. As long as it's uh, not more than three minutes long, we're good, right? Yeah, yeah. You make sure you pee first. My attention span only lasts three minutes. Yeah, I heard that. Unless it's a super long commercial. Yeah. Uh, well, then, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it's, there, there's lots of things we can do to improve our personal condition, and yet we don't because we're too lazy. Yeah. Or we're it's, not interested in, in researching to find out why and how. Is somebody there watching that TV in the background, or you just got it running for... Yeah. Uh, let me turn that off. This, this is going to annoy the fuck out of me. Do that. That work? That's better. Thank there you. There we go. Uh, um, but, the, yeah, the the brain, they, they do all kinds of funny things to, to check your brain waves. Uh, there are computers now. Yeah, you just have a lot of feedback and I can hear that stuff in the background or something. I don't know if it's... That's weird. Sounds like a high-powered radio movie through or something. But, yeah, I get the, the full sentence after it happens. Hang on, I need to do this and see if that helps. All right. Talk now. Now you've got it. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just. Yeah. I remember the, where we were. Uh, brain waves to check them. Right now, uh, most of the people have got a little skull cap that you put on that's got sensors everywhere. Just lots and lots of sensors on it to test the electrical emanations from various parts of your brain. Boy, that's fancy for, for where the electricity leaks from your head. Yeah. So, yeah. So they, they test it with a skull cap thing, but they there are people that can actually run a computer with just this skull cap on. Right. And the, the military is working with a skull cap less system that you don't have to. You control it with your mind still, but you don't have to have a physical interconnection with the computer. You don't have to have wires hanging off your head to do it. Since it's remotely. Yeah. So it's... Yeah. Well, you know, along Musk, real well with this you know Musk is working on a brain chip interface thing already, so they're working yeah. on direct connect to the brain. Well, yeah, but that's a brain and computer chip. This is yeah. controlling it with your brain without yeah, a computer just, chip simply by reading your electrical signal. Right, right. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. So it, it's going to be kind of neat if they ever get it done. Yeah. Imagine driving your car down the road and looking over in the field and saying, oh, that's pretty, and then all of a sudden your car's over there. <laughs> yeah. That would, oh. Uh, that would... Uh, yeah, with all new technology, you know, there's kinks to work out, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Th things like that I see as being really, really nifty if you give it to somebody that's extremely focused. Yeah. But yeah, I I look off the side of the road more than oh, I look yeah. down the road when I drive. I want to see the country. <laughs> I don't care about what's on the road. Right. Fuck that semi coming at you. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> You're ready to go anyway. <laughs> That's it. Damn it. Come and get me. 
I wanted to talk about that, uh, by the way. Uh, you talked about the one time when you, when the Transformer thing blew up in your face. Yeah. And that was one of the times that you... But you said you'd, uh, you'd been dead three times. Was that all in that same incident, or was there two other incidents? No, no. There, there were two other times when I was in Vietnam. Uh, the concussion from an explosion one time killed me, <laughs> and they... Uh, I was stabbed in the sack around my heart, okay. and that drove me the second time in Vietnam. That's what got me to come home. Oh, that, oh, was that, was your, that was your ticket home, huh? I don't know that. Yeah, no shit. Fuck. So, okay, yeah, I was just curious about that. Uh, what the other two yeah. times were. And you experienced the same... Uh, yeah, experience each time. Exactly. Well, the, the same experience while I was gone, coming back was a different experience. Huh. Uh, the, the last time there was a, a South Korean sitting on my chest beating on me and threw him off, and the, the one with the knife, I, I managed to kill him before I died, and I woke up, just woke up outside the, the tunnel, uh, and then the, the concussion, I, there was nobody on top of me beating on me or anything like that. When I woke up, I just woke up. Hmm. What was that, for uh, mine or? Uh, yeah, uh, a guy in front of me stepped, yeah, a guy in front of me stepped on a landmine, and I got his bone fragments in my leg. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was about all that was left of him as little chunks of bone. And yeah, that was the first time. That maybe right. why I don't hear so well. <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> maybe. Well, you've been through some shit, man. I'll tell you. Uh. Just learning experiences. Yeah. So brain waves. Well, everybody knows that the, the body is, is it has an it's an electrical system. It has an electrical system. That's mm -hmm. what the nervous system is. It transmits electrical impulses through the, from the brain to the to the muscles, and that's how you move. Yep. It's all done through electrical signaling. Um, and so, in my mind, fear is the strongest of those electrical signals. Because yeah. when you're afraid, you can feel it grabbing hold of your backbone. And the more afraid you are, yeah. the tighter it squeezes. Yeah. I think that's adrenaline, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you're pumping out the adrenaline and it's charging up, getting ready for you to spring. Yeah. To jump or run or fight. In the, in the military, you got two things. You're either bored to death or scared to death. Yeah. Hurry up and wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fight or flight. That's right, Miss Girl. So, um, but the, which goes, uh, ties in with all this, you know, these, this, 5G, Wi-Fi, um, uh, EMF radiation we're being constantly bombarded with. And, and, and oh, to, yeah. to say that that doesn't affect well, living systems is ludicrous. I mean, it's just whether it's yeah, healthy or not it. or what, uh, it, it, to say it doesn't just doesn't, oh, that's just, that just doesn't do anything to you. Or, it's I, I worked in power factor. I worked in power factor correction, and that was mainly because of odd frequency generation in a system is detrimental to the system. Yeah. Any outside harmonics or harmonics that are produced by your system are bad for it. Uh, right. That's why a concrete pad will shake apart when you put a motor on it and start it. That's why yeah. they put springs under those big motors. Yep. Yeah. To keep the vibration so, from tearing the building apart. 
Yeah. So you you got to take all that into account. If it works on a big machine, it'll work on you. Yeah. You know, I just don't understand a lot of a lot of people saying that all this extra EMF coming out of your computers and TVs and cell phones is not harmful. The people that tell you that it's not harmful are the people that made it, the people that are selling it. Drink my soda pop. It won't kill you. Thanks, Coke. Oh, yeah. Well, doctors recommended Lucky Strikes back in the day, too, you know. Oh, yeah. They were, yeah. they were Smoke really, when you're they having were, a baby. It makes a baby healthy. Yeah, it's good for you. Yeah. So. Now, be, be a tough guy like the Marlboro guy. Yeah. Marlboro's make you sexy. Mm-hmm. I just want the horse. <laughs> uh, oh. Tell us something good, Larry. Come on. Something good. I need some okay. good news. <coughs> it's, it's a beautiful, sunshiny day here, and I think fishing season is over for me this year. It's been too dad blame cold. But that's all right. I watch my fishing shows, and I got screensavers of the fish that I've been catching, so I'm all right. There you go. Time to hang up the oars for the winter. Yeah. Yeah, time to re-spool the reels and re-sort the tackle boxes. Yeah, get everything off. Uh Oh, straighten out for next year. (laughs) Yep. I've got a plastic bag that's completely full of lures that I just was too lazy to put back in the tackle box. Just throw them in the bag. Yep. I that shit bag later. I'm, I'm trying to catch fish right now. <laughs> yep. yep. I ain't got time to fix this stuff. Here comes Benny. Hey, Benny. That's okay. Give me something fun to do this winter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... Yeah, you want you want to have a Monday update early? Sure, let's have a Monday oh, update on Thursday. Fuck yeah, yeah. yeah. Do um, okay. Two of the guys got big, big, print, uh, 3D printers. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, one of them has a a three legged 3D printer that's a pyramid that stands about four feet tall uh-huh. and has. Uh, well, how much is 300 centimeters? 300 three and a half centimeters. Foot, mm-hmm. foot and a half, two feet. Anyway, mm-hmm. it's a great big bed. He's looking it up on his computer. Of course. Now, we have a bot for that. That's 118 inches. No. Wait. Uh-huh, yeah. 300 centimeters, 118 inches, really? That's what it says. That must be the area. That must be the area of, no. the, of it. Bed. No. Any, anyway, it's a big enough bed to, to print the the big donut. Uh, and he printed a spiral donut for me, and it came. But it's a six-piece printing. And I I pulled it all out of the box and thought it was really neat and figured out how to snap it together. Mm -hmm. It's it's just to snap together and put a drop or two of glue on it and you're done. Right. Uh, And it turned out that he sent me five parts and it's a six-part coil. (laughs) So... So... (laughs) It has to piss you off. (laughs) So, well... He, I think he did to confuse me. I got to looking at it and twisting it around and taking it apart and putting it back together again, and and it don't match up anyway. <laughs> and I thought, well, boy, I screwed something up and turned one of them the wrong direction. And but no, he just didn't send me all the pieces. But when that gets here, I'll have a spiral coil. I've already got the haulback array. And that'll give me 12 volts AC. There you go. And 
with with that, I will carry on further experimentation with the big coil that we've got, and maybe uh-huh. even complete the triple Mobius coil that I've got working on. Cool. Uh, and he's going to send me a component coil, uh-huh. which is going to be super super easy to wind. Uh, yeah, it's just straight up and down swaps. Uh-huh. But the the one that he sent uh, has got a ridge around it that shows the the pathway, uh-huh. so you can't make a mistake. Right. Uh, but yeah. Before before when we started out, you'd have to plot the toroidal design right. onto the the shape, and that that took a whole day. Plot yeah, right. on it. That, yeah. Yeah, that's really hard to do. <coughs> but this way, follow the line, and it's got little clips every few inches to hold the wire down. Oh, so cool. it's so you don't even have to grow it? Well, I mean, yeah, eventually, initially. eventually you'll have to, but you'll be able to put a few a few rounds on it without having to glue it all down as you go. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the hardest thing is you put some glue down on one run and then the time you come around on the next one, you got to reheat the glue and shove it in there and get it to... Yeah. It's a yeah, pain. it's a pain. It's a pain, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yes. It's got to be a better way. Yeah. And this one has got great big holes. All, uh, well, not great big, but it's got good size holes uh, in a lot of places around it. And uh-huh. that's where you stuff the extra end of the wire. Oh, cool! Yeah, uh, place to yeah, because yeah. that's that. Uh, yeah, that does. They do tend yeah. to get in the way. <laughs> yeah, you you start out with three foot sticking out. Yeah. just for your your connection, and that gives it some place to go. Yeah, there you stuff go. it down the hole. There you go. So that works out really well. Yeah, this design engineer is. This guy is a genius. He he really is. Every everything that that we've discussed with him, he makes it easier. And it's it's fun to work with this guy. That's cool. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah, it's always nice to get that synergistic yeah. synchronicity going on. You know where everybody's. Pulling together at the same time, yeah. in sync. I I forgot what company he works for. Somebody like Volvo or something. Uh-huh. But he is he is a design engineer uh-huh. for their three D printed parts. Right. So that's what he does, and he's Don't really get much good. better than that. Yeah. No, oh, he's really good. So. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that that was exciting about what's happened, and yeah. also this coming week once again we're going to discuss polarity. Um, when when I draw up a wiring diagram, it's for one specific moment in time. That diagram will never change, but the polarity changes as it goes through that diagram. Uh-huh. But when when I do it, I have two rows of numbers, one above the other. That's one through twelve, All right? And one up, the top row on one is the positive side, and the bottom row on one is the negative side. All right. Now, <laughs> the wire. The wire does know positive and negative because of the way it's extruded, there's a charge going one direction or the other in it. Uh, uh-huh. But that that's an extrusion method. <coughs> Once you cut it and lay it out so that one half of it is going clockwise and the other half is going counterclockwise, that maintains that polarity. But the circuit itself is always switching from positive to negative, from plus to minus. And it's constantly switching. But because we have the counter-wound uh, circuits, that makes the magnetic field go the same direction 
no matter which way the electric field is going. Huh. So that's that's one of the things that really helps these out. Uh, and I just lost where I was going with <laughs> Polarity of the wires. Oh yeah. So <coughs> we're we're the uh, the electronics people are are still drawing up their beautiful drawings of all the electronic components that go through it. But yeah. what we're doing in class is that we've got to teach them which portion of these circuits are positive and which portions are negative. Mm -hmm. And when when you've got a uh, say a center tap transformer, that's one coil that is twice as large as the two individual coils that make up the secondary. Mm -hmm. So that first one takes two circuits. The second one takes two circuits. But in the in the center tap of that transformer, you've got the positive from the bottom transformer, uh, the bottom coil, and the negative from the top coil that's hooked together. And that's a dead short. Yeah. But since, since that's a center tap transformer, that's just where the power comes out. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> what we're doing is teaching them where the positive side and the negative side of each component are and tracing right, right. that positive and negative through the circuit at a static point in time. Right. I, and, yeah, it, it's a little bit hard for them to, to follow that one as, uh, yet. They'll, they'll get it pretty soon, but that's just something that we've got to got to get established. As you, you can only have dead shorts in the spot when they've got to be, and any place else that you think you need a dead short is not a dead short, but a resistive lighting load or a resistive load of some sort. Right, right. And, and those happen mainly on the magnetic circuits, the ones that you cannot read. Yeah. And those... Those, in a lot of cases, have to have a load on them, or the rest of the circuit will not work. Yeah. Well, it has to be completed. It's a circle. Yeah. If you, if you don't circle complete the circle, circle there's, no, there's no circuit. Yep. And just things like that that we're having to get cranked into their heads. Yeah. Yep, I can't wait for it to really. I've been trying to figure out how we're going to have a two-week training course and teach somebody how to install one of these systems. Yeah. That'll never happen. You never in a thousand years. What do you mean? Two, two weeks isn't long enough? or? Yeah, two weeks isn't long enough. It, it's like go to school for 18 weeks and come out a nurse. Bullshit. Go to yeah. school for 18 weeks and come out on an electrician. Bullshit. Yeah. Um, it just yeah. won't work that way. Right. What's that? Uh, a little over four months. Four and yeah, a half the months. online schools. Yeah. 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 Well, you might get the basics, but you're not going to be an electrician or a... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you you can't be certified in that kind of time. You can't learn the nuances of a of a craft in that time. No. It's a craft. That means that you have to be a craftsman. If you're not a craftsman and just a wire twister, get the hell out. <laughs> I'm just a wire twister. <laughs> nah, I don't like that. Uh Gotta leave it nice for the next guy. Yeah. Flash, you still hanging out with us? Or? Oh, yeah. Okay. Being quiet today. What you got? I, I don't do the technical stuff. 
Oh, I know. Well, it, wasn't, it wasn't all technical. We were talking about it. Uh, there it is. One ring. There is a popular guy. So, that was Uncle Donald asking me for some more information. Oh, yeah. He likes me. He calls me every day. Uh, he wants my money, though. Uh Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes me feel good, though, that the president takes time out of his busy schedule to call me every day. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And you just signed him on. Oh, yeah. I mm-hmm. said, leave me alone. I'm busy right I'm now. I'm busy right now. I'll call you later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> So, I don't know, it's, been, it's a weird day, man. Everybody seems to be uh, uptight. Well, with all the new political news and the stock market going way down yesterday so that they could sell off, and then stocks going back up today so that they could buy again real low and make more money. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Sounds like manipulation to me. Oh, the stock market is nothing but a big scam. Absolutely. Never believe in that game. Going up. Yeah, I, I never believe in the stock market, and I don't play it. I I was in it when I had a 401k, and I was working for a living. Uh-huh. And then, then I lost $20,000 in a couple of months out of it and dumped every bit of it into precious metals. Yeah. Now I got a bag of copper pennies hanging around and don't know what to do with them. No. Yeah. No. Yep. I don't know, man. Just... Oh, speaking of copper pennies, everybody find a penny that was made before 1982. Every mm-hmm. single one of you that's got an automobile, a penny that was made before 1982, that means that it's got copper in it. Yeah. Take that penny and put it close to, but not touching, the negative terminal on your car battery. Uh-huh. That will keep all of the corrosion away from your car battery terminal and put it onto that penny, and you'll have to throw that penny away about once every six months. Do not put it in your pocket after it's got all that oh, yeah, no. on it. <laughs> yeah. in your pocket. It'll be it'll burn your way and yeah. make a hole in your pocket. Yeah, don't, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's cool. That's interesting. Never heard that one. Yeah, that's called a sacrificial electrode. Yeah. An elect- and in your in your hydrogen system, you boys out there that's playing, girls that are playing with hydrogen, if you'll put just a little piece of copper wire, uninsulated, just drop it into your into your electrolysis solution, into your electrolyte, and that will collect all the corrosion. Then every once in a while, you take that out and throw it away and put a new piece right. in. That way, your plates will not get corroded, and you don't have to take right. your entire cell apart and clean your plates. Like the zinc's on a boat. Absolutely. Same thing exactly. It's there to draw the corrosion away from the parts that will be affected adversely. Yeah. That's to keep your dry shaft and bearings from corroding up. Yep. In the salt water. Yep. And normal folks don't know that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's... uh, I just know it because I'm into sailing and stuff. Marine and stuff. Yep. Yep, that's that's because when your boat runs through the water, there's friction, mm-hmm. and there's electricity there. Yep, and that friction generates electricity. It creates a micro voltage, and that creates corrosion in your uh, steel and iron parts. And that's why one of the reasons that the boats have the great big bulbous nose on them. Mm-hmm. The big, the big, huge cargo ships and and yeah. the big ships. Mm-hmm. That is a set of coils that collects that charge and doesn't let it get anywhere else. 
Oh, I did not know that. Yep. And that also helps reduce the electrical signal that was used during the war to track ships. Right, right. So, so do they collect, does that, do they collect it and actually capture it and use it, or? Hell no, they bleed it off into the water. Fucking idiots. Just, yeah, just like the electronics guys. The electronics guys, your circuits are beautiful. Do not try to get rid of all the magnetics in your circuit by dumping them to the ground. Use it. Yeah. You can put you can put a capacitor between that lead and ground and collect a charge there. Yeah. I yeah. I've always I've always been really weirded out by the way electronics people think. Uh, they they think that that magnetic field is bad, and it is bad. It hurts all the other parts. Yeah. But you can isolate that magnetic field and make it work yeah. for you. All the more reason to deal with it instead of just dumping it to ground. Yeah, Back you know it's it a strong is. force that's going to let all the magic smoke out of your electronic parts. Yeah. So use it. Make it work for you. Exactly. There's things where I, I differ a little bit, and I know that, that it eliminates a lot of extra parts and problems in an electronic circuit. Yeah. But that's one of the reasons that electronic circuits produce odd harmonics and spikes, which is what costs you more money to operate your electronic equipment. Mm -hmm. It takes more power to operate because it's inefficient at that point. I keep harping on this stuff over and over again. Yeah, it's well, that's how it's going to get through. You've got some thick skulls to work with. Yeah, that's how they brainwashed us. We're going to repeat this shit over and over again. Nope. Yep. Yep. Uh. But that kind of bothers me, too, because if you repeat a lie over and over again, people will eventually believe it. Yeah. And it's that kind of thinking that makes me not want to repeat myself ever. Yeah, but the same thing works for the truth. Yeah. Only with the truth, you can't ever, it can't ever be undone because the truth yeah. doesn't change. No. So... If you say the truth, you don't have to have a good memory. That's true. You just got to remember the facts. Mm -hmm. So, well, what else you know? Good. We may have to have a short show today. It's just not a lot well, going on. Everybody, everybody's waiting with bated breath for the popularity contest. So. And, have 78 million people really already voted? So they say. I didn't know there was that many people that even voted. I didn't think we ever had that many yeah, people. Yeah, I, I thought it was, well, 50% generally show up. Oh. But you're talking <laughs> about population, not registered voters, so that's a, two different numbers. I was escorted out of Walmart. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. You refusing to wear your hey, Sir, 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 do you want to ask, sir, do you want to. And walked right on by. Sir. <laughs> nope. Don't hear you. Not talking to you. Walked on by. Went down in the aisle and was looking for stuff. And the little, little store security guy. Dickinson Detective Agency comes walking up and says, Sir, you've got to have a mask on to work here, or to, to be here. And I said, No, I don't. She said, Oh, yeah, you do. I said, No, I don't. And I went through all the reasons why I wasn't supposed to wear one. And he had a cop there. <laughs> and I looked at the cop, and I, and who was wearing a mask, and I says, uh, Are you enforcing the law, the the regulation that says that I have to wear a mask, and he says no. 
I'm enforcing what the store man told you, that it's a store policy and you have to leave because you're not wearing a mask. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. <clears throat> so, fuck them. Human beings, let them smell their own farts. Okay. That's how you, see, that's exactly the best way to treat victims of a global pandemic. Treat them like shit. They're not mm-hmm. being afraid of your damn story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta leave. Wow. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, yeah. so, and, and they've got enough money that they can turn business away. What? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't I, get it. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then they'll be screaming for a bailout. Yeah. They already are screaming for bailouts. Yeah. Uh, Pelosi tied up the last one with uh, some bullshit about uh, illegal immigrants. Yeah. And oh, they yeah. held it till after the fucking election. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and, and they landed <laughs> on Trump. <Yeah. laughs> America, man, you guys. You're funny. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, uh, wow. Learn to be a true American. Hate everybody equally. <laughs> well, no, not really. I don't hate anybody, period. I just don't have time for some of the bullshit. <laughs> no, I used to be able to say that, but I can't say that anymore. There are a few people that I actually hate. No. No. Oh, yeah. um, not very good. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think we're going to have to find Larry. Yeah, yeah, going to have to find me. Six million dollar fine for not uh, loving humanity. Hate speech. <laughs> there are a couple of people that I would crush their voice box for nothing. Yeah. Just really? For fun. Oh, yeah. Wow. What would bring something like that out of you, though? I mean, oh. you don't seem like a hothead. Like, this isn't about. Somebody doesn't like your opinion about your taste in music. This is some serious shit that you're... Yeah, okay. it, yeah the, the people that I currently hate yeah. are people that I see that are actually trying to destroy our nation. Oh, those pricks. Yeah. <laughs> Tell her, give us some insight. I would do some of those folks for free. Oh, that. Wow. Yeah. You know, they, they do you right back. So, <laughs> maybe I can and get done before they die. Yeah, they work cheaper than you do. <laughs> You'd be amazed. <laughs> hey, there's only what four shopping days left until this great change over. <laughs> and, and Halloween, All Hallows Eve, is is a harvest moon, a full moon, a blue moon, a, yep. a super moon. First time since boy, 1944. How, yeah, and boy howdy, are there going to be a bunch of ceremonies taking place and rituals. And oh yeah, me babies will be sacrificed. Yeah, baby eating, booger sucking shit. Wow. And all you got to do is just join a group of politicians. You can, oh, yeah. You, know, you can be this deep down psycho yeah. that you really want to be. And people yeah. will look up to you because you do it in a suit and tie. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that. I'll, I'll, stay, I'll stay out of that shit. Thank you. <laughs> you want to go to Bohemian Grove with no. your baby toes? No, I'm saving my, uh, my taste for zombies. For the future, and but, I, I no, we will only do a gold nice zombie, gold ring. I'll be like Larry Fish, and I just throw the little zombies back, you know. But big zombies are in some fucking trouble. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. Yep. And it all started with a mask, but it's coming. Yeah, it is. Politicians are pushing this crap until you snap from the stupidity of it all and shoot somebody. <laughs> oh, uh, something's going oh, to give. Good God. Has to. They want more, more lockdowns. And all kinds yeah. of stupid shit. Europe and the UK is all fucked up. Denmark slowly. Ah, they're starting to do mass shit here. Italy, Germany. Or no, way worse. worse. Yeah, yeah we're going crazy. crazy. But we don't have it that bad. Yeah. 
Australia. Woo. Oh, oh man. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. There is a 10 megawatt solar facility going in in Australia that's going to take up 25,000 acres of solar farm. Jeez. 25,000 acres of solar field. Can you imagine the maintenance on that? They're going to have to have two or 3,000 people not doing anything but cutting weeds. Jeez. Mm -hmm. well, there you go. Create work. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's all about waste, though. I mean, when you look oh, at yeah. that from a, a profit and loss side, the more waste that there is involved in the business, it seems to attract all the banks. They don't like shit that works and makes something good last 100 years. They go, fuck that. You can only yep. sell one. We yeah, can we'll sell 80 of these for, you know, 20% off. <laughs> loses 10% of its efficiency every year. That means that they're only good for 10 years maximum. Uh, it costs 300% more energy to make them than they produce in their entire lifetime. They're in series, which means that when one cell goes out, the whole panel goes out and it has to be replaced rather than fixed. And that's hazardous waste. So, yeah, let's all go to solar because it's the only way to go. It's free. <laughs> solar is so expensive. Solar has to have batteries. Solar has to have inverters to switch from DC to AC. That's millions of dollars for a solar field that big. Yeah, uh, yeah but I'll bet you that Joe Biden's never had to balance his checkbook to see if he could afford to pay the damn electric bill. Yeah, really? So, you know, we're dealing with dead fucking minds that don't understand small living. Yeah. And these idiots are, you know, they're handed the keys of power and they make decisions for us. And these idiots believe that. <laughs> yeah. It's sad. All, the, all this is about is big business and how they can make more money off us. Yeah. Uh, fuck, now they figured out with this virus how to make a fucking slave farm out of the whole thing. Yeah. And with consent. I don't see very oh, yeah. many people upset about it. Yeah. Well, you half, and Rob, maybe. Half of the sheep are going to still wear them after it's over with. Oh, I'm not talking about just the mass. I'm talking about the whole mentality of, yes, massa. Mm -hmm. Please don't beat old Jason. I do a massa. Mm -hmm. Fuck off. You know, and it's all this Black Lives Matter bullshit. What the fuck else? Every other country is on fire around us. Uh, BLM stands for Biden's Laptop Matters. Yeah, oh, and they changed it to uh, something else. They changed the, the wording on Black Lives Matter to something more, uh, I don't know, sneakier. <laughs> they changed black with something I think. I read it on the internet, and I got high since, so I probably don't have my facts in order, if you know what I mean. Uh-oh. I do that. I just oh. quote shit. Ah, so what? It's all right. But, on the good side, though, next week you'll be saying, Hail Caesar, one more time. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the world uh. will all be... What the fuck are people going to do when the bills come due for the shit that's happened in the last year? Yeah. Hello? They just stalled everything to have this fucking election. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. It's not just me seeing this, right? And then the banks are going to end up with a whole shit of oh, new homes. Oh, yeah. yeah. All kinds of good plenty stuff. Of, plenty of hungry fuckers to enforce whatever law they'll get away with writing. Yeah. So, if, yeah, it's a fucking scam. We're screwed. Screwed. You can only take $3,000 a day out of the bank. You better start getting your money out now. Oh, I don't I don't <laughs> have any money to, in a bank to worry about like that. I'm not rich like you guys. When you, when you take it back, when the new bills come out and you go to the bank and give them money for a deposit, they'll <laughs> put it through the shredder and, and the new bills will come out to replace it. <laughs> 
they're not going to replace bills. Are you crazy? <laughs> they're going to they're going to use a card. You're going to yep. either use a fucking card or go without. That's what they're going to do to everybody. And they're going to uh, do it with no it. fucking war. It's going, but it's going to happen after the election. They're going to stall a little longer. Oh. Probably right around Christmas. Because yeah. uh. we're dealing with some evil bastards here. In case you guys, oh my God, we're in a generous mood. Yeah, <laughs> want to call them something else. I, for one, out of the three of us, are not pleased with the way things are being run. I think the people in charge need mental fucking help, and they need it soon, before they kill off a lot of weak people. So, yeah, uh, the mask thing around here is skyrocketing. You know, I, all, like every third or fourth person is wearing a fucking mask now. Yep. So, yeah, well... So Sirk says, well, you can't even go to the bar. Well, you know what? <laughs> Bars are funny. Because as long as you can put a mask on and cops come, you're all right. <laughs> you don't have to wear the fucking thing. Yeah. Because you're drinking and smoking. So <laughs> it's like, what? No, that's stupid. No, these are props to just keep the tickets in way. Yeah. Don't you have to put it back on in between drinks? No. I didn't even have one with me when I went in. I even told her. I, said, I didn't even bring my bandana. I've got this American uh, flag bandana. Yeah. And I told her, I'm willing to wear this over my face, but not no fucking thing with ears. And Fuck that. i got to wear glasses. I'm not I'm here to rob you. I will not wear a mask unless I'm here to rob you. If you see me in a mask, look for my gun because I'm here to rob you. <laughs> I was wondering about, you know, if, I had to go into the bank. Do you have to wear a mask to go do banking inside now? Oh, yeah, yeah, you do. And I, I went in without one to get a piece of paper notarized. And, and yeah. Wow. This is priceless. Yeah, a, whole, a whole planet full of people acting like idiots. Yeah. They don't see the humor in it when you go into a bank and tell them that you're not here to rob them. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm, I'm not wearing a mask. Going with I'm the, not to rob you. Going with the duffel bag and ask where the washing machines are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm here to collect your quarters. That that didn't go over in Scotland very well. But my buddy liked it. My <laughs> bank didn't. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you say the wrong thing in front of the wrong people here like they were, re it was, uh, I was in there at the time Obama was in power. Right? I think it was Obama. Must have been Obama. You uh, know, the bank girl loved Obama. And I, I asked her, I said, do you really love Obama or you just can't not, or you just can't hate him because he's a nigger? <laughs> she, about, she about dropped her pen. <laughs> well, I thought it was a fair question. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently she thought I'm some kind of racist or something pointing out the obvious I don't have anything against black people I got a thing against niggers I have a thing against politicians mm -hmm. right. all of them they're all, the, all of them every you wear a suit mm -hmm. to go to work you piss me off they all I'm like up. that now I'd like to grab a necktie or two but eh, well maybe not anymore I did when I was young like you were saying, you go help out. I'm beyond all that. I don't even care anymore. I'm sad that the, the people I'm surrounded by are so uh, gullible and uh, uneducated that they believe this bullshit concocted story is true. Yeah. Yeah. Because you got to be kind of dull-witted to get bullshitted this deeply by such an obvious bullshit story. Well, CNN told me it's got to be true. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. But the internet's so flowing <sighs> with shit, backtracking and, and and unexplaining the mistakes that they made, reporting it the way they did once upon a time. Uh huh. And well, yeah, but it's got such a small internet audience that you know, a lot of people are never going to hear it. Can you? Yeah. The masses are going to know exactly what whatever. Trump or Biden tells them, and that's about the end of that. Yep. They don't. They don't seem too interested in anything further. Where's my 
beer or where's my savage? <laughs> where's my welfare check? Where's my food stamps? Uh, you blame them? The government started that shit. How could you blame people for doing what the government insisted that they do? Well, I, I'm, it's a really I'm, all for, too. I'm all for helping people that need help. Don't get me wrong there. Yeah. But but the uneducated part is, are you for that too? Because that no. comes with the state funding. Is you yeah. go to one of their stupid schools and don't learn anything. Yep. So where's the benefit? See, it's a game. Larry. It's, it's a big well, game. Keep them dumb where all they can do is stand on their assembly line and screw in one screw all day, every day. Well, that's all the smarter we need them. Hard enough to work your assembly line. When we get it worked out, we're going to replace your ass with a robot. Yeah, sad. A big gun. Is that Rob? That's one hell of a bomb. <laughs> yeah, but what the <laughs> hell? Sounds like pots and pans. Those are the huge bubble. He's iron lung in that thing. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It sounded like somebody was banging on a pot. <laughs> <laughs> I got headphones. There you go. Okay. Yeah. I got headphones on, so it's <laughs> kind of my Congo. That's my Congo. Oh. Yeah. Big time. I would love to have one of those. My neighbors would never sleep. <laughs> wow, we're losing neighbors. There's a house across the street from us that's vacant. Nobody's renting it. And then uh, one, the neighbor died on one side. On the other side, we never see the guy. He's so he's like grim. <laughs> You hear about him, you know, from rumors. <laughs> oh, <wow>. <laughs> <laughs> but you never see him, you know, he doesn't come out. <laughs> what are those? Uh, it's the perfect neighborhood to, to be in a, in a global pandemic. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Social distancing. Man, they we have so much social fucking distancing. We got more of it. We don't know what to do with it all. <laughs> Social distancing is have your buddy on the other side of the hill when you're deer hunting. Ouch. I I don't hunt, so I don't know quite what that meant, but it sounded painful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just so that you don't shoot your ass. Yeah, that's why I don't hunt. Eh, guns and me. I'm not, I'm not, uh, what do you call that? Uh, Disciplined enough to mess with weapons, I don't think. Well, you just don't have the right mentality. You should have the mentality that I shoot back. No, I would have the mentality that I shoot first, so <laughs> stay away from the guns. Well, I was raised by a maniac. It's just I went a different direction. I started out as one kind of character, and then in my late 20s, I decided, ah, being a pussy ain't so bad after all. There's benefits to it. So I took the pussy life instead of the bad guy life. What? Hmm. That's the way I look at it. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I, just, I just see it that it's a whole lot better if you're a warrior that grows a garden than a gardener that needs to be a warrior. See, and there, that's what makes this whole game so fucking interesting, is that you can understand somebody else's point of view, but not, not hold it. I understand exactly what you're saying, but I'm beyond... Uh, in my I'm, physical mind, I'm beyond having to defend myself, so it just doesn't even come up. I only hear it when I hear other people talk about it. Then I, I'm aware, but I never it never comes to my mind to defend anything. I'm real passive, but I'm all for self defense. Hmm? Yeah, but you allowed the guy to earn his dollar and escort you out of the store. You didn't slap him in the skull for being a dick. Right. So, you know. Right. Okay. There you go. That's what I mean. Is a certain amount of decorum is necessary to survive the idiots of today because they're terrified and they're acting out of they're acting out of fear. However, they don't even know what they're doing, I don't think. However, 
I did assay both of them, the cop and the security guard, to figure out who I wanted to take out first, should it come to that. <laughs> well, I was okay. prepared for okay. a confrontation. Yeah, and they gave you a little respect and passed on it. That's yeah. probably what I would do. Yeah. But I don't think it would even come to mind for me to even say it. I don't, I don't know. It's been years and years. It's hard to explain. The only person I have had a serious disagreement with in years is Sir. And we always work through that shit. Yeah, and she will do that one. And it was over with. Well, yeah, she wants me to do something. I go, no. <laughs> I like to do that right now. Look at that. <laughs> Next thing, well, come on. We all know where these things go. <laughs> but we do them anyway. So do yeah. it with somebody that you trust not to murder you in your sleep. Yeah. What else you can hope for? Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, come on, Rob. Life is going to... Uh, no, I'm in chat. The next six months or so, I think life is going to seriously make some social changes. What a fucking dick. What? What I do now? Not you. Uh oh. Oh, man. (laughs) Fine. Be that way. So, anyway. Okay. Whatever. Fucking Karen. What did I interrupt? Uh, Nothing. I just said Karen's in the chat room. Oh, the one that left. Yep, you are a dickhead. I am a dickhead? Trust. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. People are fucked up. They got fucked up values. They don't even know they have fucked up values. That's how fucked up they are. <laughs> it's a mess. Well, I'm relatively certain that on voting day, I'm going to have to call the the voting people and have them enforce the regulation because the, the guy at the voting bureau told me that I did not have to wear a mask. Oh. Oh, you are going to participate in the, the fun and games? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go there without a mask on to get all the Karens to have problems. Do you remember the good old days when who you voted for was a private issue? Yeah. And people were openly offended if you asked them in front of other people, hey, well, who do you support? Hey, fuck you. Mm-hmm. That's who I support. Shut um, the fuck up with your nosy questions. None of your and, business. Right. And today, we've got millions of people running around doing it openly. I support this moron because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Since open carry is legal, can you carry a gun to the polling place? <laughs> oh, go for it, Larry. Hmm. <laughs> Larry hmm. for precedent. I swear. Swear my you know. booty knife. Hey, I'm telling you, this this could be a felony by the end of the conversation. I don't know. You could end yeah. up on YouTube getting arrested for being I'm, Larry. I've got a Damascus steel bowie knife that when you hold it in your hand, it makes you want to cut somebody. <laughs> it talks. It talks. It talks oh, to you. Oh, Larry. Excuse me. Squish, squish. Don't make me touch you. <laughs> yep. Wow. What a conversation to have. Okay, so now we're into violence. <laughs> Ouch. Let me bust out my switch. Oh, well, Let's all move to Canada where we can do bestiality. Oh, oh man. I see now they say that about Denmark too, so I don't know. Well it's legal in Canada. Well don't you have to be kind of like into animals to care whether it's legal or not? Well I, mean, I it would never that, occur to me to wonder, hey, I wonder if it's legal to fuck a sheep. My major fantasy <laughs> is getting a grizzly while it's, while it's hibernating. <laughs> hey, you go. That'll be a wild ride. Uh, ha, ha. Hey, you know, that we could cure this whole country of uh, electing a president in, like, 20 minutes with a contest. Know. Yeah, uh-huh. I found a contest for Biden and Trump to participate in. Okay? Okay. And the winner of the contest is... The one that anally fornicates a fully matured male elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and 
if the elephant lets him live, he becomes president. <laughs> Oh, the only one to get to be president is the one that can make the elephant squeal. <laughs> Same thing. It's just, that's how, that's how ridiculous. Yeah. This is not, I mean, I was in a bar today in Denmark, and people were making jokes about the presidential election. <laughs> so, yeah, you can't win on either side as far as they're concerned. Well, Trump or Biden, <laughs> Who do you like? <laughs> I know. I'll stay here with Ted Martin. Well, I just thought it was kind of amusing that I was getting teased about being American today because of the upcoming selection on Tuesday. All your dreams are going to come true. No. <sighs> I've been I've been watching a YouTube series. Uh, I think it's British, but it's called Spitting Image, and it uh, it it doesn't not get on to any of the politicians around the world. It shows uh, it shows Pence as an alien. Uh, it shows <laughs> it. It really takes advantage of Trump and, and shows lots of funny things about him. Uh, Merkel is, is done. Trump's liberal first daughter from one of his previous marriages is is in there and trying to get back with her friends because she don't think that he's going to win the election. Uh, <laughs> it, it It's just a whole bunch of fun stuff, and it's called Spitting Image on... Uh, YouTube. YouTube spitting yeah. image. Yeah. Yeah. Like people? They're, it, they're really funny. It doesn't matter if you're left or right or purple or green or whatever. It's funny. It's funny. I'll take, I'm putting that in the news. For the show. Yeah, they're, they're I don't know what brought it to mind, but. Good, because we need a we need another something to laugh about besides oh yeah four years. This, this will make you laugh about the whole thing, uh, the COVID responses and all that. Uh, and what a what? bunch of assholes! COVID responses. Oh what, yeah. What are these idiots reading comic books? Well, if you want a different answer, wait five minutes. Well, it's just really bad. Masks are good. Masks are bad. Masks will cause pneumonia if you yeah, work. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Just take the stupid thing off. Throw it away. Do not throw it on the ground. <laughs> no, they're everywhere. They're everywhere, yeah. yeah. The passive resistance, I suppose. Because, <laughs> you know, people, I think they're insulted. But terrified of government. They want to keep their jobs. Shit like that. Well, yeah. It's, it's not a regulation. It's not a law. It's a suggested procedure. Right, but behind the scenes with people that you work for, you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. No. I'm assuming the worst because I have such a low, oh, I don't know, amount of trust for human life because people oh. are kind of disappointed most of the time. It doesn't have to be a, a government policy. It's a store policy now, and you get thrown <laughs> off of private property by not following store policy. <laughs> so I could go in there wearing a shirt and shoes and no fucking pants. Well, eh, theoretically. It just says certain shoes required. Don't say nothing about pants. Oh, well... Technically, but I, I don't. I, I think that's, that's supposed to be a given. <laughs> yeah, but the way the police behave now, I mean, I've seen some people uh, videotape their arrests, and you know, they tell the they tell one story, and then you see the videotape surface of what really took place, and it's like completely different. Of the oh, story yeah. the cop tells, and these fucking pricks, because it's on the record, are allowed to keep their story. With visual fucking proof, and then, well, nobody asked for the tape. 
Flint. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait a minute. The victim has to be aware enough to know there was a fucking tape. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, what a game. Come on. What do you call that? Uh, law enforcement. <laughs> and makes my, makes my tumor bleed. Yeah. Um, man, I, me and Stark are, well, we're having this disagreement kind of thing going on because I'm so dead against wearing a fucking mask. And the system is so dead set on putting one on me. And, you know, she doesn't want me to start trouble and cause trouble. So. Yeah. But, hey, they want to put a fucking mask on me like I'm a goddamn animal or something. Fuck them. I I don't want to start trouble. It's just that I don't want to be controlled. I don't know how to explain it. They're going to all come back and, well, that's just because you're American. And blah, blah. I don't know. I grew up this way. I, I didn't like grow up with some stranger dictating what the fuck I put on my body to wear or how to wear it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you know, look at some of the strange bullshit people do that's accepted in public. And then they turn around and go, but you got to wear a mask. Say, so, what yeah. the? Get the yeah. mask. So, the first thing you need to know about the mask is if the state wants you to use the fucking thing, it's going to hurt you. Yeah. There you go. What's, where do you go from there? <laughs> Why do you need more information after? If that's been a proven fact to you as a person listening you understand the dynamics of how the mask works against your health, not for it, but the system lies to us and tells us, oh, it's for your health. No, it's not. It's so that you'll get sick later and they can blame it on the COVID. Get the yeah. mask on. Yeah, so that you'll get pneumonia and die from pneumonia. COVID did it. Yeah, right. Bullshit. This, but the, the, the remedies are going to be causing more problems than the story of the virus ever did. <laughs> yeah. You folks that are afraid of that virus, take wow. your shoes and socks off. Take your young ass outside. Put your feet and your butt on the ground. Get in the mud. Be Catch a little bit of sunshine. Get some vitamin D in you. Increase your immune system. Take your fishing knife and cut fish guts with it and worms and all kinds of nasty stuff. Rinse it off in the lake. Cut your finger with it. Rinse it off in the lake. Get your Vienna sausages out and eat them off the end of your knife. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Wow. See, that's how pampered people are. Yeah. 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 And the kids play outside. Yeah, I can't imagine, you know, to... Be told not to do loud. The only this. place that the kids should not go barefoot is either in the sticker patch or the chicken pen. If you go barefoot in the chicken pen, you get ringworm in your feet. That's bad. You don't want to do that. It takes a lot of red medicine to make them go away. But other than that, get outside. No, I still, I still was in shoes. I was in the swimming pool most. most of the time. In shoes? Well, no. But oh. when I wasn't in the pool, I was, I was uh, wearing shoes because I rode a bike. Oh. Um, so I had to, yeah. So the only time I was actually barefoot was when I was out at the pool swimming, and the rest of the time I was riding my bicycle with shoes on. And that was on concrete. And a concrete pad that had yeah, an iron yeah. rebar in it that restricted the magnetic field of the earth, and you were in a Faraday cage. Yeah, okay. No, no benefit. benefit. Well, I was in a swimming pool. No benefit. To what? <laughs> no health benefit. Oh, swimming? Oh, shit. I, I, that's not true at all. I, oh, yeah, swimming good. is a really good exercise. It's fit as fuck when I was a child. Yeah, swimming is an excellent exercise. And I'm really little. Is okay. not healthy. But Larry, I am very, very short. And when I was like 12 years old, and you bumped into me, I didn't, I didn't knock over. <laughs> <laughs> and people go, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I was in the swimming pool five days a week, sometimes seven, yeah. but usually five. Yeah. yeah. Take a yeah. day or two off just to 
I love swimming. I never remember when I couldn't swim. Right, and see, and now look at what life has turned into. Now they got little kids in schools with bubbles and masks. And yeah. Stay away from your friends. Everybody's going to kill you. What kind of life is this? That Six foot barbs all the way around you. Well, yeah. Looks like well, COVID. This has got to be horrible for the kids. Uh, Cirque was telling me yesterday, a friend of hers, uh, his 11 year old was mocking people because she's not she's not old enough to have to wear a mask. <laughs> you yeah. to wear a mask. You do. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kids. My God. But that just goes to show that they're not stupid. Yeah. Well, if they know that it's a punishment, I mean, wow, where did they get an idea like that? 11 years old. Yeah. Mommy and Daddy, how can they punish you? Well, right, but these are little children that are uh-huh. talking up like, well, okay, well, I'm sitting on the Internet sometimes with grown-ups that don't have a fucking clue about what's really happening to them. Yep. Yeah. They don't think that the government is, <laughs> what would the right word be? Not capable of, but dirty enough to do the horrible shit we accuse it of doing as a collective. Because the group of us have accused the government of some horrible shit. Horrible, horrible crimes. Well, the, the older I get, the more I realize that everything that I've heard of as a conspiracy theory in my life, almost every bit of that is true. Oh, right, yeah. And it doesn't matter what area you dealt in. Bombings, boat yeah. accidents, plane accidents, all these accidents. Yeah, right. And then when you find out the people that were uh, part of this accident, <laughs> mm-hmm. then but then the tale that you tell with that makes you look like a nut job to the yeah. average Joe because he doesn't know what you're talking about. Doesn't want to do the research. No, not really. And then there you go. And then there's so many fucking details to know in the first that place. Well, it, it's sort of like me. There's the real truth and the truth according to Larry. <laughs> my, my biased opinion. Yes. Yes. Hey, we all got one. Everybody. That's yeah. the whole freaking point. Is I think that this life thing that I'm doing is just my opinion about me. It ain't got nothing to do with you. You're just there. Yeah. But doesn't you're just a participant in my play. Yeah, yeah. My little fantasy thing that I'm doing. Yep. Well, it's easy to uh, take it too seriously, I think. I do it all the time. It's easy to go, fuck off. <laughs> you're out of your mind. Yeah, don't let that trivial shit bother you. Well, right. It, in physical reality, it doesn't. But on the internet, I let my my inner uh, demon out. <laughs> <laughs> Have a little fun in the, in the electronic world. Yeah. Well, um, different different things in, what, inspire people to do different shit. Wow. So, there you go. Different stimulus. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah that's fair. She's stimulating Larry. Grim asked if somebody has a radio playing in the background. Again? Oh. <laughs> Larry. Is that coming over the recording? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can hear it. Oh. Dirty radio player while you're doing radio. <laughs> help, help. We're being attacked by... That's just because we're so boring. We could do a war of the world and get attacked by aliens. Live at TheRealLibertyMedia.com today with our invasion from the planet. Bailon. That would be so much fun. <laughs> oh, um, real take, aliens. Take me with you. Show yeah, me but uh, doesn't it piss you off the way that the system is so fear-based? It wants everybody to be afraid of everything. Afraid of the woods, uh, aliens from outer space, Jesus is going to punish you, you name it, there's a movie about it. 
Bad, 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 bad. You filthy human. Bad. Like, no. You sound like Grim. No. Right, Grim? Grim says, oh, you filthy human. <laughs> but I think Grim means it more in a physical way than an emotional way. And he's talking about, get your nasty virus disease, future mask wearing butt away from me. <laughs> right. I have felt that rush today a couple times. Yeah. I'm going from pity to anger. Yeah. I mean, when you know something is not true, and everybody else around you doesn't seem to get that, what do you do besides get mad? <laughs> Got any ideas? Rob, 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 help, help, help. <clears throat> oh, God, I don't know. Well, I could do that. I don't know. I'm not, I already thought of that part. I'm trying to think of something else. I'm right on there. You know, we're, we're not going to get mad. We're just going to get even. We're going to let Trump go through four more years of this stuff, and then we're going to let JFK Jr., then we're going to let uh, Baron Trump. <laughs> you know, the long game. It's going to be a Trump dynasty for the next 400 years. Well, you know what's really amusing to me about this, this Biden-Trump thing lately? Is everybody seems to have forgotten what a thief that Trump is because Biden's kid is an idiot. Got caught. Yeah. See, being accused, Trump's been accused that he can't prove shit. Doesn't well, mean he didn't do it. it, just means they can't prove he did it. <laughs> there's four or five of them, There's four or five of them, like Pelosi and, mm -hmm. and two or three of the other ones there. That all their kids are into into the foreign stuff and making money because their folks are rich. But okay, listen. If if my old man was some special politician or something, had a whole lot of pull and could get me a job with without knowing anything, ooh, buddy, yeah, I'd take it. There you go. That's well, what they yeah. do. That's what people no. do. That's how this no. whole game works. No, well. And they pretend it doesn't work. They do for their children. Well, but they pretend it doesn't work that way because they throw some crumbs at a few college graduates that are black or Mexican or Chinese or fucking something yeah. to make a point. See, see all the small people. See, you too can join our group someday. No, they can't. It's a bunch of shit. You're never going to get where Biden's at. The American dream. You too can lie, cheat, and steal your way to stardom. Yeah, but it's a whole different layer of physical reality. You are never going to be where Joe Biden goes. Oh, yeah. Not without his ring of fucking security around him. Mm. So, Or he'd have been dead years ago because the fucker's a prick. Yeah. Yeah, look at the pieces of shit he raised. Fuck's sake. These kids are so, they're so fucking nasty. They got fucking caught and didn't give a shit. It's like, well, so what? Uh, I mean, not even sneaky about the shit they were doing. That's pretty fucked up. I mean, as far as uh, yeah. being criminal goes, I think in that political thing where your kids are so lazy and slob. I look at Kennedy's were kind of clean looking. You know, they fooled a lot of people, I think. Yeah. But you don't get that kind of wealth without lying a little bit. <laughs> Misrepresenting a few things, so a couple of wars kind of help a little bit. Shit like well, that. Yeah. When your family is in munitions, have a war. When your family's in alcohol, do some bootlegging. <laughs> yep, have a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Just and then, to make it illegal. And then yep. punish people in court for smoking flowers. <laughs> yeah. Ah. yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And then they have so many people in jail, you got to privatize it. And then they have a quota that you have to meet, or you got to pay them extra. Uh -huh. Yeah, what was it? Oregon or Washington? A, a penitentiary sued the state for not having enough people in it. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, they have they have for a minimum occupancy for, not, for <laughs> having a contract. Yeah, yeah. breach of contract. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's like a lottery with a big F on it. <laughs> Whoops. 
the lottery you can't win. Exactly. A stay for the wow. Well, you know, I don't know. I think all that punishment shit and fining it's just overdone to it. Yep. Is according to the people that I try to ask questions to now America's fine, there's no crime, there's no violence, everybody's getting along this wonderful. Doesn't explain the links I look at, the people chatting. See, in person, you know what I mean? We're not gonna I get agree, we're, we're not gonna meet people that are, are surrounded by violent lunatics <laughs> on the internet. What That's do you know? not what internet huh? What do you know about the singularity? Which one? The singularity. <laughs> uh, there's supposedly a singularity at the center of our galaxy. Okay, not that one. That's a black hole. I now, the concept of, of singularity, is, I just did the definition in the chat room. Uh, it's a point in time at which, uh, theoretically, technological progress accelerates exponentially such that nothing taking place following said point can be predicted. It's about the acceleration of the expansion of knowledge. I know nothing about that. All I know is after I got out of school, I started learning a whole lot more. <laughs> yeah, I'm all knowledge out, Rob. Sorry, he's healthy. Yeah, well, it, it ties in with this transhumanism stuff that you know, humans and the machines and and the, that kind of thing. Well, you don't think it's possible? I don't know. I think it's coming. Sure, I got parts in me from the surgery that are uh, of the man-made persuasion. That without them inside me, I would have probably croaked. Yeah. So they had, yeah. You're a cyborg. You yeah, cyborg. I part, cool. yeah. I got man made parts in my abdomen. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So a little tap for your beer spigot? Basically, I mean, I, it, uh, I see, I know it's a, a polished round, so I know what I'm feeling when I touch it, but. I don't know what any, you know, somebody else would feel. <laughs> they wouldn't be the same. It's the uh, elephant leg, you know, in reality. Because when, uh, when human bodies are all the same, except for when you tamper with them with uh, uh, surgeries, then you can install shit that doesn't naturally go there. Mm -hmm. What? I had a brother who wasn't the same. He had, uh, what was it called? He used to say it all the time. Anyways, his body was reversed. His heart was on his right side. And all his organs were in reverse. It's weird. It wasn't that his body, his body, his head was on backwards. How, or at least yeah. a good story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like years, Mr. And, and his name was Wrong Way. <laughs> no bullshit. That's okay. what we that's what we called him. That's what his name was. And and that's got what to do with the singularity? Nothing I at all. Oh. I don't know what the singularity is. The singularity so was, was reached in Terminator, according to Grimm. But it sounds like it would be just one of whatever it is, it would be one. So it has a name. So the singularity is the ultimate intelligence? <gasps> it's, the Wait, point, it's, a it point, it's a point in time where uh, the progress of technology reaches a point where it is learning so much so fast that you can't even predict what it's going to learn next. Cool. Boy, I want a bag of whatever you're smoking there, sport. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Not my definition. I mean, that's, that's no, we're, we're living. Rob, Rob, Rob. <laughs> I hate to, I hate to break this to you, Rob. Are you sitting down? No. Okay. Well, don't fall when you hear this. 
communicating. Okay. It's going to be a, an awakening to you. <sighs> no. It's not like that. It's not? Mm -mm. I've just changed it. <laughs> well, fuck. Thank you, Larry. How, well, when you over-explain something to that level, it's like banking. Forty-seven <laughs> trillion dollars in debt. Well, you know when they said trillion, anything after the word trillion, <laughs> glares <not>. over. <laughs> so don't listen to that. That's no, that's nonsense. It's beyond it's comprehension. comprehension. But I exactly. Yeah. I get it. Here, it's here a we are. It's a known unknown. <laughs> yeah, but we're in all these different societies, right? Where people speak different languages. And yet, the majority of them do the same like, the thing the same way. And then there's a few holdouts. But we're hostages of the times now. You can't travel anywhere to prove shit. you got to believe what you're seeing on the internet webs. Sir just quoted Moore's Law. <sighs> wow. That's the hell you've been doing the circle. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, okay. I you came in with the right thing. What? what the, num yeah. the number of transistors doubles every two years. Kurzweil used that model to predict that evolution of artificial and technological advancement in intelligences. So it doubles every two years. Ooh. Well, isn't that special? And we're still burning oil, and we're still using electricity on a bad system, so... From a steam-powered motor. Exactly. So all this technology and all this bullshit that we have to talk about is basically overruled by the reality of second-rate shit from a bunch of greedy Jews. And we, if you say that out loud, people get offended and don't listen to your radio show. I'm off ended. I'm off Oh. The truth, about, the truth about this whole <laughs> horrid game is disgusting. If people knew what they supported, they wouldn't support it. they got to turn a blind eye to the reality, or they, they wouldn't have a country. Nope. Fuck. Wow. Well, that, I know, because I don't have a country. i got one that claims to own my paperwork, but I don't have one that I claim to own. Make sense? Yeah, now that you're not here, reclaim your money. Aye, 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 money. Fuck money. You can have it. You figure out a way to get it, you can have it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> what? Well, you know, it's just my experience in life up until a certain age was whenever I was chasing money, the government wanted to share the fucking money. Yep. Uh, well, wait a minute. What, what's all this shit about? I said, well, if you want to work in this business, this is what you've got to do. But but if I don't want to support mass murder? Well, I was a headhunter for a financial institution. So, Cannibal. Uh, yeah, basically. But the things that I could get people to tell me on the telephone, personal business, oh, it, yeah. just, it was amazing. Well, but after... I don't know. When I, I guess I started to really understand what the fuck I was doing, I wanted out of it. I didn't want to do it. So I got scared of the monster and went, fuck this. I want to live. <laughs> I don't want to chase money like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't want money, but I want to do things. Right. So I, I made my decision. Da, 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 da. Well, some people would call it uh, misfortune. I got relatives that were just horribly disappointed in my choice. You, you know, didn't chase the dragon. Exactly. Oh, you had such potential, and you could have gone to this school and that school. And could have been. Really. Yeah, but I didn't it really want you. Yeah. Could have been a mover and a shaker. Put a lot of um, weight in what I wanted. <laughs> I still do. The, <laughs> the, the formula to find out if you made the right decision was who was happy from it, them or you. 
Oh, definitely me. But there you go. Then you made the right decision. Yeah, I'm one of those selfish humans that lives to be happy. Why, well, you selfish bastard. Yep, I'm telling you. And so when I get some of it, yeah, it's mine. <laughs> That's mine. I, I'm only legally obligated to share it with her. I, everybody else can wait wait until I make Pounds it. Pounds, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him in the nut. Well, this mask thing is going to wear on me, though, because they've been forced it in stores. Oh, it's already started. And, uh, right, but the, the store is actually making you wear it in the, while you're grocery shopping. The other places are, are letting you slide because there's no enforcement. But the, in the grocery store, everything's on videotape, so they got to be accountable to their, yeah. to their upper. Yeah, that's all corporate. Most people are playing the big money games. I just put it on to go through the door. As soon as I get inside down an aisle, I take it off. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't going to do that. So, no, so we're just going to have to have food delivered until they lift this crap. Can't do it, Rob. I can't be a hypocrite. I, I, get, it. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. And, but I would feel like the biggest fucking drip to give in yeah. to the uh, pressure of society to do something. I'm a cigarette yeah. smoker, so believe me, if I yeah. thought this mask thing would help me, I'd be, I'd be, I'd have a room full of them somewhere. <laughs> but no, they don't. They're actually detrimental. Sadly, I'm, you know, I'm a minority, and people that listen to my opinions <laughs> they don't usually agree with them. So, and I, as I said, I look around and saw so many people willingly participating in this mass crap. So, that tells me they're either in fear or they're uneducated, or both. Mm -hmm. And I can understand the in fear people, but I can't understand the uneducated ones. That's a choice. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. How many? We're ten months easily into this crap. If you haven't figured it out by now, come on, 10 months into the pandemic, the global fucking pandemic of forever, and it's got a kill rate that's like, wow, nothing. Point. The hill dog's got a bigger kill rate than this virus. Yep. <laughs> I mean, come on. They just, I don't know, what's right with it? We've been bullshitted. How, there's no other way for me to ever talk about. I was trying to be quiet, <laughs> but I guess malaria it. kills more people than this, and they've got quinine as against the law in some of the African countries. Yeah, yep, makes sense out of that bullshit. You can't. Yeah. That's uh, uh, why I have the negative behavior towards society that I carry is because everything proves out to be a bunch of shit. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, whatever they tell you, don't believe it. Do your own research. And then what? And th then that's when the don't trouble it. really starts, Larry. Because without, uh, without a network of capable people, you're stranded anyway, with or without the knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, it depends. Okay. Are, you, are you saying it takes a village... Uh -huh. No, I'm saying it takes uh, the lack of all these fucking government laws. Hold on. Participate. Maybe that's on your end, I do. No. What happened here? Are we still live? Hello. Yeah, I'm still live. Oh, okay. I hear you. I don't hear Flash faded out on us here. Yeah, he did fade out. There he went. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, okay. Okay. Microphone. Oh, yeah, Flash, uh, Flash, Flash uh, lost his connection, I think. Oh, here he comes back. Are you back, Flash? Are you really here? Nope. Psych. 
Just messing with us. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll try again. Uh, nothing. Uh, poor flash. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we're live. We're fumbling around on the live wire. Uh, well, I don't know what to do now. I don't know. He's going to have to reboot or something, probably. Um, his headset dropped off. Unplug it and plug it back in. That's too bad. I hate it when my headset drops off. Yeah. Unplug the mic and plug it back in. Robot. Oh, flash is now a robot. So okay. how come it is that, that we can go into some places without a mask and have gatherings without a mask, but in other places you got to have one? Uh, because they're batshit fucking crazy. Yeah. How is it effective in some places and not effective in other places? And if the mask works, then why do I have to wear one if you're wearing one? Yeah. Well, if you want to get rid of the COVID, just go to a protest, because everybody knows that the COVID will not go near a protest. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, go break somebody's windows out and burn the house down. Yeah. COVID won't do anything to you for that. No. But if you go to church... Yeah, oh, you're, you're, you're going to get it. Yeah. The COVID, COVID is going to get you. Yeah. You got to work to go into the uh, door of the restaurant, but you take it off as soon as you start eating. The hell's a sense in that. Yep. So much bullshit. I, I might be able, be able to be talked into it if there was some logic that I could follow behind it. But I see no logic in anything that they're wow. trying to make them do. Well, you know what I don't understand is how they're getting all these medical people to back to to say this shit. Because I mean, I have a medical background. I was a paramedic in the Air Force, and one of the most basic things you learn is sterile technique. And the idea yeah. that these paper fucking masks or cloth masks or whatever that don't even seal to your face, okay, are going to do anything to stop. Uh, an infectious agent from dispersing. Actually, and there's also been studies that because of the mass, because of the compression of the air and the way it blows out the side, it actually propels anything that you're breathing out further than it would if you just had just for regular breathing. Yeah. So, I mean, anybody that has any kind of logical sense of physics and, and uh, Common sense. Our understanding of the real world. Yeah, and all these people relying on, and I, I, like I said, I don't know how they get all these medical people with, to say this shit. Uh, there's some serious brainwashing going on, because they can't be paying all of them. I was uh, a monitor. Salary. Was that you? Big Pharma pays their salary. Where the hell did that harmonica sound come from? I don't know. Was that Flash? No, he's not on the, even on the call. Wow. This is weird. I swear you're huh. thinking in the background. You just can't turn that off, can you? Uh-uh. <laughs> you got to have that going, dude. <laughs> you, got, you got company. Oh, okay, you do. Well, that's what I asked you if you had somebody else watching. Yeah, yeah, he's here tonight. Oh, okay. Today. Okay, well, that's... Uh, it's just that we're so boring. That's tolerable. Yeah. He is on the call. Who's on the call? No, Pfizer isn't on the call. Um, 
Anyways, well, it's turned into a really windy day here. Has it? Yeah, it was cold and nasty this morning, and the cold front moved in, the sun came out, and the wind picked up. And we won't have many leaves left for Halloween. Yeah. Now, it's been well, chilly here. Are. Go ahead. It's been chilly here. Um, just a little bit breezy. It, we don't ever, we hardly ever get any real wind. We had our down. first snow two or three days ago. Oh, we haven't had any snow at all. Yeah. 51 degrees. Are you really with us, Flash? Yeah. There he is. Hi, Hi Flash. Hey. Have Welcome back. back. Uh, yeah. Did, did you push that button I again? Played. No, no. I, I play games that, for some reason, on this Windows, it bumps my, my uh, headphones around. Sometimes. It crashes your microphone. So yeah. there's no way to change it. You have to reboot the whole freaking thing or it don't work. Really? So I was just ranting anyway, having to giggle about the mess we're all in. Yeah, it's... Uh, but I did send, uh, because I had to shut it down, I sent Grim the notes that I'd caught up to. Right, I right, cool. Roughly ended. But we didn't like talk about good. anything new or anything, so that's that's probably oh, good. No. I kept uh, notes. I don't know you all what you do. So why do you think? Why do we think? Why do you think we let you play? Oh yeah, cause we're <laughs> <laughs> the notes, and you do the intro. My writing skills, and, and you save us, well, when, and you save us when we get to these points where it's dead silent, and you go, "Hey, better talk about something." Yeah, well. It's just been so freaking stressful on a level that I'm not, uh, I'm not used to. Yeah. My surroundings. Yeah, I can feel the tension in the in the air with all this drama Tell me about it, man. Fear and you're gonna kill my grandma, bullshit. Yeah. I just. Well, yeah, we just had a neighbor across the street go fucking ape shit. Uh, come outside on the porch on the phone, screaming at the top of his lungs, pissed off at this. Motherfucker, it's evidently somebody, you know, somebody owed him money and ain't paying him. He <laughs> said, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Oh, no. And, I mean, just at the top of his voice, man. And oh, just like, is. yeah, like, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> going to take yeah. you out and get you drunk and buy some of you. Yeah, I mean, on, I mean he's not really going to do anything. He's just, just full of hot air, but. Yeah, well, good. You know, the, uh, I don't know these I, these links I've seen on the internet in the last few years. They just get pretty violent. People going nuts, man. Yeah, and Surprise, usually, divorce rapes, everything's going up. Child see, beating. Since the ones in the uniforms are worse, mm. they're just average Joe. It's like wherever there's real trouble, there's the cops there too. You know, it's not like there's 500 people and there's no cops and the people are having problems. No. Nope. Yeah. Well, that's the way I see it. If they keep the police out of this shit, most of the time nothing would happen. Right. Of course, unless George Soros is paying you to burn down a building or two. That could shift the balance a little bit. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Called the color revolution, people. I'm a conspiracy theorist. That's right. Because the real shit that they tell us is, come on, Wuhan flu, bat soup, a wet, a wet market. Don't even people didn't even study up to see what they were talking about to find out if they were being jacked or not. Because I found out what a wet market is, and that's where they sell fish. No, with ice packed around. Yeah, it's yeah. got nothing to do with bats. It's all fish. So what? Yeah, so there's your first first bit of bullshit right there is this bat nonsense. Bat man. <laughs> <laughs> See, they set us all up in the sixties with Batman. Yep. So that we would buy the Wuhan story in twenty twenty. 
Yeah, so much bullshit. The Joker's still laughing. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, fuck. And what is it? Who is that guy? The Beetle guy. What is his quote? <laughs> we are so We're fucked. We're so fucked. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, until recently, with this latest uh, government intervention on this side of the country, uh, I'm starting to see the bad side of this shit. Ooh, gross. <sighs> People are disappointed. No wonder Grim doesn't want to be around. <laughs> Fucking dummy. Uh, what? You're not yeah. laughing. Must think I'm talking about you. Yeah, why you keep talking about me? <laughs> what you call me? A dummy. A big old dummy dumb head. Okay. What you going to... What you going to do? Argue and prove I'm right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Hmm. Going to argue and yell at me and tell me how wrong yeah. I am, so I'll change my mind. <laughs> yeah, that I work. On that. <laughs> oh, really? I, I've got a list of names, people that'll tell you how well that works. <laughs> yeah, but you got to get my attention. Uh, first, I'll go on Yule. I go on Yule. Just like a mule thing where you don't hear them you don't see them it really annoys the fuck out of people <laughs> <laughs> to be ignored oh god punching them in the head would be way nicer than treating them like they're not there that's the decision I have come to make in my old age what do you think huh? 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 or do you still like slapping people around okay when necessary hmm. You're always froggy there, Mr. Larry. Well, folks, get that. Yeah. Some some folks is like a mule. It takes a two by four to get their attention. That's me. Yeah. And just so I'm so far. I haven't been hit with a two by four since I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> I learned how to duck when I was growing up. Hey. No. Yeah. Fuck it. <sighs> Get out of the way. It's not a bad thing. No. <laughs> well, I don't know. I've been a pretty lucky as far as... I got ro my foot run over by a car once where the tire rolled over my foot because uh, I walked into the traffic thing without really looking. I was wearing headphones. And when I turned to look left, the car was already there. <laughs> Oops. So <laughs> I had that one time. That uh, must have been fun. Well, now nah, I sprained my foot, but it was a learning experience, you know, because I could have been a prick and blamed the guy driving, and he would have took the responsibility for it. But, nah, I wasn't trying to fuck anybody over out of nothing, so I just went, no, it was my fault. Go ahead. And went to the hospital, and there you go. Yeah. Yep. On the bus, too. Uh, and you know what? You know how you find out when... If you ever want to see how nasty and rude people are, get on a bus with crutches. Oh. <laughs> yep. Mm. And I was a young fucker, too. I was like 27 or something. 20, something like that. 27, 28, maybe. And here I am struggling on the bus, and people are like, fuck you and your fucking peg leg, you prick. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. horrible. I hated it. Stand up and hold the strap. You've got two poles. <laughs> <over that. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't it something, though? Uh, we like to laugh at people when they're down. It's like the human thing. Mm. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. Cowboy Tech found a real reason to wear a mask and goggles today. Oh, uh -oh. yeah, he's doing asbestos. They're moving popcorn ceiling and drywall pulse. Yeah, I thought he it was dust, much, much dust with fiberglass. Yeah, but oh. they said there was asbestos to be replaced with something else. So it's a double awesome. job, yeah. Yeah. Right. Ooh. That mask, we need an aqua lung. <laughs> yeah. Hey, get Pedro <laughs> and Honky over here to go fucking do this. I'm out. I'm going home to do paperwork. I'm the boss. Yep. 
I helped a guy hang pink insulation one time, and that was the itchiest I have ever been in my life. Wow. Uh, what are you thinking? Yeah. I hung Ooh. pink insulation in my house. Ooh. Yeah. The only thing that will help you is a cold shower. 1,500 square feet of it. Oh, shit. Hmm. Okay. I'll take your word for it. I'm not stuff. fucking around with no That and thermal, thermal barrier. Wow. Yep. You guys are daredevils. Stop it. It's You're just making it. me sweat. Yeah. Um, so I'm worried about I've, you. I've hung the ceiling and all kinds of stuff before. And I've dealt with that insulation many times. Oh, yeah. Well, out of the three of us, I've dodged enough work to make four people happy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I have your back. Ask my wife. She'll tell you. <laughs> Never mind. Wow. No, it's a tough crowd. Tough crowd here tonight. I like doing stuff like that, but we never wore masks or even thought about it in those days. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I was growing up in the end of the 60s, and I don't remember all that. Back when cigarettes were good for you? Doctor recommended. Oh. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> something's going to, you know, the, the part they leave out, something's going to fucking kill you anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, why get uh, particularly uh, fearful about this or that or the other? Why not just learn how to, you know, yeah. handle problems? Well, the sad part is, is that if the fear kills you faster than the problem. Yeah. Find a remedy or something. The stress, oh, the wine stress wine. of the fear kills you faster. That's what gives you cancer. It's all the stress. Oh. Well, then I'll never get that shit. Cause <laughs> I, don't, I don't get You have to give a fuck to get stressed out. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not even... It's more like a shock. Because life is so quiet and peaceful. So... Just the, any little thing gets my attention now. As long as I still can hear. Maybe that'll be my... my the next thing will go. <laughs> be my hearing. My that'll man. be my... Well, that brings us to the end of us. The Drop-In a Coil Show with Larry Woods and Rob Works and me, Flash Silva. So, any last brilliant words to our hardcore hundred or so that you guys got? Do your own research. Okay. Don't believe anything. Okay. Build a coil. Even if it's Wait wrong, a minute. Do oh, man. <laughs> you know what? We should do we should do that next week is uh make it available for people that want to do it to get a hold of us. You, you know, us, whatever. Hmm. And uh, see if they can, if they can, per, you know, pursue this any further than just a question. All we got to do is come to the chat room. I'm almost always here. Well, there you go. well let's make a, a particular show to specifically you know, apply that point and get some of these uh, people out there that want to pursue this a little further. Get them involved. Yeah. Because we're all locked down in one way or another right now. Might as well make the best of it. That's so it. If, if you're an electrical nerd out there listening to us, check us out. We need to talk. I'll be winding a couple of different ones over the next few weeks. Yeah, you got some all stuff to raise. Yeah. Yep. Well, I encourage anybody that's interested to pursue their interests. That's what I've done my whole life. So Absolutely. Fuck, yeah. And even if you're not good at something, at least trying it, that, that way you find out. Yeah. And I've tried things that are similar to what you're describing, and I don't have the patience for that kind of detail. With wires, I would go insane. My eyesight, eh, I'd be a whining bitch. Go, I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so, but... It, it does get know, tedious, yeah. It's... I thought it through, and now I, I don't have the patience. Yeah. So, but there, I am hopefully there are people out there that do and are curious, and hopefully we can use the show to get a get get them together with somebody that can help them do something. 
That would yep. be kind of fun. All right. And with that, it's a wrap. Thanks for listening, folks. We'll see you next week.